The Big Screen Review on Movie Magic. Hello there, how's it going? Well, now showing at a cinema near you, the key film to see this week is Irish comedy The Guard. Boy, you got a set of balls on you talking to your superior officer like that. If we were back in Atlanta... We're not back in Atlanta, though, are we? If we were back in Atlanta, you would be busted. You'd be giving out tickets to jaywalkers. Galway. That's it, boy. You can consider yourself... You're not hunting four men, you're hunting three. Described by writer-director John Michael McDonough as a big film about a big man with big laughs and a big heart. Absolutely, it's true. The Guard is like a comedy thriller starring Brendan Gleeson as a very unorthodox Irish policeman who joins forces with a completely straight-laced FBI agent played by Don Cheadle. Now, he's actually a co-producer of the film. And what they try and do together is take on an international drug smuggling gang, which is headed up by Liam Cunningham. Still, yeah, we can't have that. I'll have to make sure he's over hands away. Why is it always me, though? Because you're a psychopath. I'm a sociopath, not a psychopath. They explained that to me in Mountjoy. There's some tremendous chemistry between the two leads, and whenever they're both on screen together, that's when the film delivers at its best. But we'll hear more about that later as we chat with the writer-director, John Michael McDonough, and I chatted with him just literally before the Irish premiere in Galway. You certainly are an unconventional police officer, Sergeant Boyle. Thank you. That was not meant as a compliment. I don't know. You're only messing, I know that. <laughs> The Big Screen Review. First and foremost, John, good man yourself. These debut movies aren't uh, the easiest to pull off uh, successfully, but this is terrific, so fair play. Thank you. you I suppose you've, you've now got the added pressure of following it up, but we'll not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, regarding the Don Chidal uh, involvement uh, as one of the producers and, of course, securing his support as co-star as well, was that a tricky thing or was it quite easy after he read the script? Well, the process was that um, Brendan attached himself to it um, pretty quickly. Um, my brother, um, Mike McDonough, who you know, wrote and directed in Bruges, got the script to Brendan. Uh, he read it within a couple of days and said yes, and then we, we went straight out to Don, and once Don knew that Brendan was attached, he, he read it you know, within about 24 hours because he respects him as an actor. And so, basically, in the, in the space of about a week, we had both attached to the two leads, which is obviously incredibly fast, as anyone would know in the film business, to, you know, to get your two leads within a week of the script going out. And from, you know, that was just a springboard, and from it rattling along, getting finance and everything. I mean, I wrote this script, I think, in Christmas 2008, and we'd finished shooting at Christmas 2009, which is incredibly fast. But it's funny you mention that, actually, because the pace of the movie is perfect, absolutely, because it never feels too long or too short. So were you purposefully strict with yourself when editing, or is what we see pretty much uncut? No, I mean, I think this is, you know, speaking about a debut filmmaker, I think... Especially a debut filmmaker who wrote the script himself, you, you tend to be too much in love with your own material, and so the, you know. The <laughs> That's what's very honest. <laughs> the editing was quite protracted in the sense of, I think my first cut was about an hour and fifty minutes, and the final cut is an hour and thirty six, and it took me a long time to, <laughs> to kind of get my head around the fact that sometimes the film will play better pace-wise if you, you know if you, you've got five gags, it's better to have just three. Cut the, you know, cut the scenes down and make them, you know, run along a bit uh, longer. Then you also have to, you know, the scenes were between Boyle and his mother, which slow the pace down. And it's a tricky business editing, you know. No, nobody really teaches you how to edit. You sort of, it's sort of on the job training. So it took us a long time to get to the point of the final release, but we're all really happy with the way it's all ended up. Whenever you mention dialogue and being strict with yourself, well, uh, all the dialogue in the movie is immediately quotable. Uh, I mean, whenever you were with the cast doing table reads. I mean, how did you all keep straight faces? Or maybe even on set must have been just a, a riot. No, well, yeah, it was a good table reading. Obviously, a lot of that sometimes dialogue can springboard into uh, you know other actors coming up with other lines of dialogue. But usually, actors aren't as good writers as I am, so I usually get all their <laughs> contributions out of the movie. Um, no, I, I always thought it was a good script and a quotable script. And I, I find, you know, that's the thing with movies these days, that you walk out of a movie and you can't remember a line of what's been said, you know. So I was always, I was sort of trying to hark back to those sort of screwball comedies from the 30s and 40s where you actually could remember what was said in a movie. Well, without a doubt, Brendan Gleeson is the star of the film. Those scenes with him and, and Don Chidel uh, are perfect as well. So I think uh, what we'll do, we'll, we'll play out with the, the scene with them both in the cafe having breakfast. And if you'd like to introduce that uh, for us, John, that'd be great. This is a scene uh, between Brendan and Don Boyle and Everett. Um, 
where Everett is trying to get Boyle to actually investigate a crime and Boyle will have nothing to do with it. So, Kenosha, Wisconsin, you were saying. Did you grow up in the projects? What? Did you grow up in the projects? Or did you not have the projects in Kenosha, Wisconsin? No, I did not grow up in the projects. It might surprise you to learn, Sergeant Boyle, that I actually come from a very privileged background. And by privilege, I mean prep schools, Yale. I was a Rhodes Scholar. I didn't know what a Rhodes Scholar is. I do know what a Rhodes Scholar is. Really? Enlighten me. Chris Christopherson. Yeah. Chris Christopherson was a Rhodes Scholar. You, you are correct. Privileged background, huh? Summer in the Hamptons, skiing in Aspen, that kind of thing. Skiing, yeah? I thought black people couldn't ski. Or is that swimming? The Big Screen Review. The Guard. Showing at cinemas all across the province right now. It's so good. Do go and see it and you'll be laughing. Trust me, you will laugh. It's so funny. It's like a cross between In Bruges and Four Lions. And if you are a member of law enforcement, then what you can do is present your ID at your local cinema and you will get a special discounted rate. How cool is that? Until next week, I'm T.